Hey y'all, welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren, and today, got a brand new product here from Inkbird. It is their barbecue temperature pit controller, Wi-Fi, brand new, just came out. We're gonna do a quick unboxing and a mini review, kinda check this thing out. I'll be right back. Smoking, grilling, getting hot and hotter, sous vide and chilling from fire and water. Okay guys, um, by now if you've watched any of my videos or you follow me on Facebook or and all that or Instagram, you'll know that I like Inst I like Inkbird's products. Um, they've sent me some stuff. I started out with them over a year ago. They sent me some uh, barbecue uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth uh, barbecue just thermometers and then also instant read thermometers and their sous vide unit. All of them have been very good. They've all worked really well. None of them had any issues. Uh, I did have a small issue once with their CV circulator, and they sent me a new one right away. Uh, and it wasn't even really that big of an issue, but I was really uh, impressed that they sent me a new circulator without any question. Um, they're always there to uh, help when you need it. They also offer um, a various uh, amount of different products. So between the uh, the barbecue equipment. They also have other uh, humidifiers and different controllers for uh, brewing and all kinds of different things. But so this is their new addition, and it what it is. It's a barbecue pit controller. Um, you probably heard of brands such as uh, you know, Barbecue Guru, which I've done a video on their new Ultra Q. You also probably heard of the uh, Fire Board and the Flame Boss and some of those other type of um, units and pretty much what they do is they control the temperature of your smoker ceramic grill barbecue pit weber kettle using a fan and thermometers so that's exactly what this is one of the things i like about this particular unit is the price um, i uh, right now i think this is selling for right at 160 bucks and like Inkbird always does they will come out with uh, discount codes and cheaper prices they'll put it on sale a lot and um, uh, they've already done it once with this they actually came out with a code and um, had it down to 140 dollars which if you're familiar with any of these type of units um, they they can run anywhere from $250 to $350 to some are even more than that. I think the new Ultra Q that I did a review on was actually just pushing almost $400. And they all pretty much do the same thing. They control the temperature of your pit with a, with a fan that blows air into it to uh, kind of adjust the, uh, the burn of the charcoal. And you get to monitor it with your Wi-Fi or your Bluetooth and the thermometers that are attached to your meat and the uh, that are monitoring the pit. This is uh, very similar. I mean, this is, does pretty much the same thing. One of the things, it does come with this nice case, so you can carry it around if you're doing barbecue competitions or you're taking it to the beach or you're traveling. You can take this whole controller with you. So I really like the fact, or just for storage, uh, I mean, you can put everything in this case and throw it in your uh, storage bin and not have to worry about everything getting separated which when you're dealing with things like this they have all these different probes and wires and hoses and other pieces you don't want them floating around all on their own you want to be able to have some kind of case or something to put them in so I really like the fact that this all fits in this case and you can put it uh, anywhere you want so let's just go ahead and unbox it this is your main unit with your fan in it and like I said this uh, will connect to your Wi-Fi as you can see it's got the little Wi-Fi symbol here if you can see that but um, so it also has a knob on the outside here so you can control it manually with the knob but also with the Wi-Fi or Bluetooth um, it's got little feet here so it sits on your counter just right you can also turn it sideways if you want so let's just go ahead and look at this so it's got your little LED 
a readout here. This side is where your fan blows out, and you got your hose, nice size, thick, uh, corrugated uh, hose here that kind of stretches, and it clicks right into the side and locks into place. Then you can pull it off. It's got little prongs here that you can release. So that's part of it right there. This side here, it's got three probe ports. So one of course is going to be for your pit to monitor the temperature of the pit. And then the other two ports will be for food. So you can have a brisket or a pork butt or chicken, you know, monitoring two different types of food. Then it's got your power uh, hook up here. Okay, so let's put that down. And one of the things with this case, it's got the little insert here where your control unit sits into with the little feet so it doesn't move around in the case, which that's a good thing because if you're traveling with this thing, carrying it around, you don't want it bouncing up and down and smacking into any of the other parts and having any issues. So it actually just fits right in there and locks into place. So I got here, comes with two adapters. One of them will be for like a Weber kettle and one of them would be for like a big green egg Kamado Joe ceramic grill. So, and they are um, adjustable. They actually will slide right in and they also have these little extra plates. So um, they can actually make it a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller, what have you. Put those down. All that's gonna be in the manual telling you how to adjust it as well. Let's go into the little uh, cage here. It's got a little uh, side section here that you can lock all the other stuff that kind of moves around a lot into the uh, other side so it's not all mi mixed together especially when you're traveling got your uh, AC plug here I'm going to go ahead and plug it in got my extension cord and plug that in get this cranked up there is no on and off switch on here. It's just uh, as soon as you plug it in, it'll come on. So it also comes with the three probes. Okay. Two of them are food probes. One's a really big food probe. One's a smaller food probe. So like maybe for a steak or chicken breast, pork chop, you do that one. For a pork butt, brisket, you got a bigger one. And then this one here is for your, um, just to monitor the pit temperature. So it just clips right onto your grill grate right there. So that's that. And that's it, except for your manual. So your manual here has pretty much tells you everything that comes in it, how to uh, set it up, how to set up the Inkbird Pro app. And I'm gonna show you that too, so you can see that and pretty much everything. It walks you through how to do all the setups, the app, and all that. And it's only in English. So it's not, you don't have to work through 12 different pages of French or uh, Spanish or anything like that to uh, figure out how to operate it. So it's all in there. So also get with it your warranty card. So you fill that out, send it in, do it online. It's really easy to do. Like I said, Inkbird, I've never had any issues with any of their products. So, so that's all that comes in it. So right now I'm going to take you to the app and show you how we're going to set this up so that we can start using it. All right, I'll be right back. All right, guys, the app is pretty easy. It's the Inkbird Pro app is what you download from the app store. And then when you open it up, you hit the plus sign at the top right brings up a menu of all the different devices that you can hook up. Of course, the temp controller's on there. Click the next steps. It asks you how the light is acting on the unit. Um, make sure you choose the one of how it's acting, and it'll let you, uh, it'll walk you right through um, how to set it up. It'll uh, give you the option for your Wi-Fi. Make sure you're on a 2.4 gigahertz. All these uh, type of devices require the 2.4. They don't use 5G. So make sure you're using the right Wi-Fi and you set it up uh, just like you're supposed to and you'll have no issues whatsoever. Make sure you have a good um, signal as well that you're not far away from it. To uh, set it up, plug in your probes and what you do 
as soon as you plug your probes in, it actually will start reading them, and then you can adjust them. Um, looks, for example, you can plug in your pit probe, and it's going to uh, let you adjust the uh, type of smoker you may have um, using them on. And uh, I'll show you right here. You click on your smoker; it's going to actually give you the ability to uh, change from a Weber Smoky Mountain to a Weber Kettle to a bigger Weber Kettle to a Kamado to a bigger Kamado. So you have different options here. If you don't have something that's uh, similar, you can uh, on here you can uh, pick something similar. You'll also be able to change your grill temperature and a reminder temperature here. It'll, if, you, if you want it to tell you like 10 degrees before it hits a certain temperature, it'll tell you that. You can go in and look at your graphs on your food probes as soon as one is developed. Uh, this one, of course, doesn't have anything yet. You can adjust your temperatures of your food probes for warnings and all that as well. You can also calibrate each probe. So if you test it with a different probe and it has a different uh, temperature, you can adjust and calibrate these probes so, uh, individually. And it's pretty easy. That's it. All right, all for my first uh, cook, I, I set this up on my HD Bake that has the uh, bulkhead adapter from Barbecue Guru. So I got my fire going here pretty good, uh, just one corner of the firebox. So I'm going to go ahead and set up this Inkbird temp controller. And the good thing about the uh, Barbecue Guru um, bulkhead adapter is that this hose will actually fit right in it and um, it actually worked pretty good. So um, if you have a bulkhead adapter from Barbecue Guru or you can get one, they're only like 30, 40 bucks from Barbecue Guru and you can put them in pretty much any smoker. The one thing about the Inkbird is actually you can adjust uh, and set the temperature on the unit itself with a little push button and a dial. Uh, so you don't need to have the Wi-Fi or the Bluetooth. You can actually use the dial. And actually, this worked really well. I cooked two briskets on it using the controller. And the, both the uh, pit and the temperature probes worked great. Had no issues whatsoever. So uh, that's just the first cook. So, so far, everything worked out of the box. Um, had no issues with it whatsoever. Set it up with the Wi-Fi uh, without any issues used it set it up with the actual uh, buttons itself it worked well the fan worked as it was supposed to probes worked as they were supposed to so so far i can say that the inkbird temperature controller works pretty well i'm going to run it through some more paces before i give it my uh, scootle seal of approval but from what i can tell it works really well check it out Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Make sure you follow the Fire and Water Cooking Podcast and check out this Inkbird temp controller. Actually, it's I think it's 170 bucks right now on Amazon, and they come out with uh, you know discount codes all the time. Make sure you check out my Facebook uh, page and group for discount codes for Inkbird. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next Fire and Water Cooking video.